Telephone. Uh, I am CEO and MD of MMPRC and with me we have our chairperson Abdullah Gyas Riyas. Yes, I'm very excited to be here on the Sunnyside Studios uh, first uh, proper podcast. We've been planning this for a long time and I'm so happy and excited that this has finally come to reality. Yes, and we look forward uh, to have an exciting uh, discussions between us. Yeah. <laughs> we will try to uh, talk about the things that we are doing, the things that we plan to do. Yeah, I think uh, there's a lot of things that has happened recently, uh, especially in the last four to five months. And we wanted to shed light on what are these developments? What could you expect from uh, uh, the Visit Maldives team? Uh, we've seen two major events that we have done locally here, um, other than obviously the trade shows that we've been attending, uh, the Data Forum, the Visit Maldives Symposium. And I thought uh, it'll be good to come here and talk to each other about uh, where we are at and where, where we are headed. And uh, the question is, who, who are we? Well, what does MMPRC stands for and what are the things that we are doing? As you mentioned, uh, the, the name itself explains uh, Maldives Marketing Public Relations Corporation, right? So some of the things uh, we've been discussing is uh, we want to diversify into a new segment. Yeah. And we've been famous for the sun, sand and sea and honeymoon and diving destination. So we have, uh, with a new team and with the new management, we've been talking about diversification and we have been trying to implement new ideas, fresh ideas, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean, uh, recently during the symposium also, we got an opportunity to engage with uh, various members. Uh, we've also in the last several months had had many different meetings with key stakeholders, uh, airlines, NGOs, resorts, guest houses, liverboards. So we definitely listened to what everyone had to say. Yeah. So um, I think, um, yeah, uh, like you mentioned, MD, uh, we have a lot of different different projects that we've been looking at, uh, diversifying into sports, diversifying into film tourism, diversifying into medical tourism. This is something that has been spoken in the past, but I think we are now looking at some concrete uh, roadmaps and concrete frameworks and how we're going to get there. We started talking about we have various events. I think one thing very exciting um, that I've uh, spoken to you was about your event in Bali, EPOS. Yes. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit more about this and what we can expect from this uh, next year? Yeah, EPOS, uh, we are trying to have EPOS Maldives. Um, this is an event where all the uh, big names in film industries and other industries as well, if you call, if you call it telecommunication, there were Axiata, there were people from FIFA were there, Euro Champions League were there, Disney was there, Amazon, Google, Meta, TikTok. So all these big brands were there and I met them personally and then uh, I met the organizers of this event, EPOS, and we had discussions to have it in the Maldives. Now we are in the stage where we come to an understanding and have this event in maybe November. So the idea is to bring the big names from Google, TikTok, Meta, uh, Disney, Netflix, uh, and all other big names. So I am very excited uh, for this event and I'm sure with the introduction of these big names into the Maldives, we'll be able to talk about uh, namely film tourism, but there are other areas as well. As I mentioned, there were people from FIFA, there were people from Champions League, European uh, Cup. So uh, I think not just film tourism, but also uh, sports tourism is an area that we can uh, look into. There were investors uh, of big leagues in, in American leagues like NFL. So I hope that that event would be a, a different kind of event where we will have a good opportunity to showcase the Maldives in a different perspective. Max, excellent. That's very, very exciting. I think this is an area that has not really tapped into Maldives. We see other beach destinations already there. And coming to sports tourism, I think we've talked about uh, bringing some international uh, event to the Maldives. I think we've already started conversations and it's, the prospect is looking very, very positive. 
Um, I mean, we are surrounded by sea. A lot of uh, different surfing events have happened over the years. We're looking at how we can expand into it. We're also looking at adventure, um, you know, and I think this is also an area that Maldives really can exploit over the next uh, several years. Yeah, I agree. Uh, we are, we, our team is really excited, and uh, we are talking about in a uh, we are talking about a different era in terms of you know uh, the technology as well. So uh, when you talk about it, artificial intelligence, AI is also taking over so many things to make things productive. So um, we are looking forward to have uh, this kind of new technology among our team as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you have uh, noticed from the data forum, we have gathered so many new ideas. I think the partners who joined the event uh, went with, I think, smiling faces, uh, with a positive mindset, uh, hoping that MMPRC or Visit Maldives will work with them and find ways for us um, for 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 us to give them something. So I think uh, they are excited, we are excited as well. Yeah, that, that's exciting. I mean, we, we talked about if, in fact, this very own studio is a project where we wanted to bring the creativity of uh, Visit Maldives to light. We started off with, you know, a little group of creative uh, labs uh, in, in inside our team. And I think now we're slowly growing into uh, content creation. We've seen some really interesting campaigns come to light where most of these things are done in-house. Um, and also we're trying to collaborate with local uh, creative guys um, across the spectrum. I think this is also something that Maldives has not uh, seen previously. Um, definitely we've outsourced it to local and international agencies, but trying to do this uh, where we try to recruit individuals and bring this to light is, I think, first time. And uh, can you tell a little bit more about yeah. how we went about this? I yeah. know I'm sounding like the guy, actually. No, no, no. Talking, talking about uh, the, the, the content creators, uh, I had a very interesting chat with Meta, I mean, regional head uh, of Meta, who, who I, I, I mean, everyone is familiar with Instagram. And also I met, uh, uh, the, the I think it's Australian region, Asia Pacific region, head of uh, TikTok, yeah. and they were very positive. You know, we, we told them that we are uh, interested in bringing uh, an event or do some kind of activity, and they they were suggesting we can bring in co uh, content creators and do something in the Maldives together with our local content creators. So that's something that I look forward maybe down the line next year where our content creators can match or mix with them and create different kind of contents. And I think that's not that far. I, I am, we are very ambitious. Our team is really ambitious. So I hope that uh, we, will, we will be, our team will be able to come up with something different. Yeah, because uh, we've always talked about why can't we get the viral contents out there and, you know, I think bringing a lot of these things in-house has made a difference. We've just pulled two events on our own and I think that itself uh, gives that confidence uh, uh, to the industry as well that we're now definitely embarking on a new journey here. I mean, Data Forum was something as well because we have such limited resources ultimately. Uh, so we want to know next year where we will tap into. We've learned a lot. We have uh, Meltwater, we have TripAdvisor, we had Oxford Economics, um, different, different speakers that came, E-Frontier, Sarah was there. So we've now decided that we'll have the similar event next year as well. We've also looked at integrating with, with some of these, uh, even forward keys, um, some of their platforms or da data dashboards into our membership portal yeah. that we're developing. So I think in the area of technology and creativity, there's a lot of things that we are trying to unpack. Um, this is an area we feel that Visit Maldives can really do a lot more. Uh, we're looking at a very interesting summer campaign. We're looking at unveiling a global campaign at yeah. uh, WTM London. Uh, and also the fairs, we've decided that we will not have fairs the way we used to. Uh, we're looking at going into different markets, but at the same time, um, move away from the way we used to do traditionally. Uh, let's talk a little bit about 
the fairs and the road shows that what we be looking at the new types of road shows and i think that's also something i'm sure the viewers or listeners would love to hear yeah uh, i think traditionally it's all about b2b uh, road shows i mean fairs but i think uh, we will we have plans to come up with new types of road shows not just b2b maybe b2c or road shows uh, road shows dedicated to a certain category maybe uh, road shows only for luxury market road shows only for the 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 guest house market or road shows combined so there are different ways or maybe road shows for gastronomy yeah. it could be something but the the key is we are Uh, listening to our partners we recently com- uh, concluded the tourism symposium we got a lot of feedbacks we got a lot of ideas from them and we are uh, from visit maldives we like to hear from them we like to collaborate with them and uh, i think that would be the key to make it a successful uh, one maybe next year so uh, i think in at the beginning when i came in also i said it's very important that we work with the industry partners so yeah. we have collaborated with the ngos we have collaborated with the airlines we have collaborated with uh, the the ambassadors the embassies in different parts of the country so i think uh, it's not just the resort uh, uh, resorts that we work with we work with everyone and i say that it is the responsibility of the whole nation because tourism is the backbone of the whole country and i think uh, with the collaboration with once we back one and each other yeah. i think the result will be very easy to be seen i'm i'm, I'm confident that uh, with the collaboration next year we'll be able to uh we will be able to deliver something that uh, no one yeah, has seen yeah, yet yeah because uh, that's what <laughs> what what the industry all of our members are sort of looking forward what can we make do differently you know like i said um this is more especially post pandemic has elevated its brand status globally especially among the uh, beach destinations look up to us uh, they look up our numbers but today we are talking about a different type of metrics as we just don't want to look at only arrivals we would like to see uh, we talked about this during the data forum we talked about this during the symposium how adrs matter long stays matter um you know and uh, what sort of investment we put in each market and what's the roi so these are different metrics that we started to talk more often than now and i think this is also another way that we will be looking at our plans next year which markets would be the best return in investment for more days Yeah. and uh, like i said the digital campaigns is definitely here to stay uh, we also want not want to ignore that we want tourism to go to different parts of maldives we've been told that okay arrivals numbers we are there but adr and occupancy is still a concern so these are th- areas that we are definitely looking at and working and that's why things like that are really matters to us and um, uh, talking about um, the various different new initiatives that we've had um i think we heard about medical tourism we talked uh, about sports uh, we had some very key, interesting keynotes during the symposium as well i think this is just to unpack what's really on store for next year and um, i know uh, with the limited resources but we really want to show that we have a capable team we are a young dynamic team that's here to to deliver and we again still open to more ideas we talking about having focus groups um having different task force for different segments so that this is just not a one off thing the symposium so it's a conversation that's still open it's an ongoing thing i think it's always a work in progress as yeah. far as visit maldives is concerned we like i said we want to work with everyone uh, who is keen to help us uh, we are always open ears um and like i said we 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 want to innovate i think that's the key word here yeah. it's about yeah. innovation yeah. Uh, and uh, what else do you think we would like to and also uh, i agree with what you have said uh, we have to work with the partners and a lot of credit goes to them mm-hmm. and when you talk about you know the numbers we have been getting uh, over 1 plus million for the past 7 years and we are very excited you know to uh, achieve a new milestone uh, especially the president in his independence day speech said that 
uh, he would love to you know target us uh, to, to have a target to reach two million yeah. and also I think in uh, in his uh, New York event he, he stressed on that he would love to see you know to reach that two million milestone so we are trying very hard and it's not just us it's it goes to all the resorts all the stakeholders all the airlines everyone so yeah. we i think the credit goes to the whole country as uh, i mean as a nation yeah. I, I think we are very optimistic that uh, we'll be able to reach this milestone for the first time in history yeah i think yeah. this is something we've been monitoring almost on a daily basis looking at whether we were hitting the 5000 target daily today this is just a little bit about it uh, just a few days ago we started a trend where we have started going over 6000 7000 day before yesterday we were over 8 thousand arrivals but again like i said as much as we yeah. love to talk about yeah, numbers, numbers we, yeah. uh, we are not forgetting yield we're not forgetting adrs like i said maldives had been a success story because of our high yields and i can assure you that this is something we are focusing on even from a branding strategic point of view uh, we are working as an industry because today it's not like 52 years ago, or one resort, one island. We have different, different products. But we want to know where do we place ourselves in this um, in this metrics. And it's important that all our products that we have, we have 62,000 beds. Our job is to sell 62,000 beds at, exactly. uh, at a high yield price. And that's, I think, our key message that we want to send out. That's our objective. And that's what we are really looking at, how we can we maintain the status of Maldives being that ultimate luxury high status um, high yield market and uh, that's where I think a lot of education comes in a lot of work with uh, the policy maker again working very closely with Ministry of Tourism and the minister as well to making sure that we have the right conversation across the board across the spectrum so that everybody is part of this story because we don't want anyone to be left out of it we want tourism like I said to go to different parts of Maldives and this is something that we're excited about people's initiative lately and everyone wants to contribute and I think that from a visit Maldives point of view we also are today taking that conversation to them, inviting them to have this conversation with us, but at the same time build a brand that is from a strategic point of view, how we can place our brand. I totally agree with you 100%. And also uh, when you mentioned that taking uh, uh, tourism to different parts of the Maldives, I would also like to say that we want to take tourism uh, we want to see visitors from different parts of the globe, globe as well because uh, I think traditionally we've been focusing on the European market but it's not just Europe. We, we, I was really surprised, I, I can give you an example, you know, Bangladesh, uh, if you look at Bangladesh numbers, two years back the numbers were about 2,000 to 3,000 but yeah. last year alone the numbers has reached to 22,000 which is a huge significant yeah. boost yeah. so that means we have been uh, uh, not focusing on the low-hanging fruits yeah. this is a this is a market it's really attractive uh, I think because of the connectivity we have been able to uh, find new markets so I think there there is a lot we can do yeah. there are a lot of markets that we have not um, uh, penetrated or yeah. we have not explored so I think one of the the key uh, key ways for us to get more numbers and more high yield uh, customers or visitors is through exploring new markets that we have not explored before uh, as you mentioned uh, in in uh, in the data for forum you have mentioned forward keys and you have mentioned meltwater and some other uh, trip advisor so from these stats also we have uh, discovered new markets like Austria they, they talked about how Austrian market is growing they've talked about Japan because Japan is not uh, up to where they have been before so from these information we know that okay they have potential but we are not focusing a lot but the, with these data I think going forward we have to uh, focus on these yeah. as well 
For sure, for sure. We, we definitely learned a lot uh, from the data forum. We learned about uh, not just, uh, like I said, uh, looking at existing uh, markets, looking at emerging markets, looking at untapped markets, existing markets also, we see Russia, uh, UK, Germany. We, we, have, we do one big thing once a year and there's a limited activity in the rest of the year. So one thing that we're looking at every quarter, how to tap into this top 10 or top 20 or even top 30 markets that we have. And also look at the markets on the right at the bottom of our arrival sheet. So these are some things that we've started to look at. And obviously we're not trying to do this alone. Uh, we, we are learning, we are collaborating with international partners. Uh, and we also, like I said, reaching out to our partners locally and the local talent here. So um, I think, uh, is there anything more we can talk about? I think we- Yeah, there, there's a lot we can talk about, but I think due to time uh, factor, we have to- I think this our... is the start of a conversation, I'm yeah. sure. And we have more to unpack in the coming weeks or months or years. Yes, there are so many projects going behind the scene. Uh, I can't wait to, you know, talk about it, but it's not, ready yet so hopefully we'll be able to talk about it uh, uh, in the coming days or weeks or months so thank you very much for watching this episode uh, hope to catch you all on the next episode we'll have another line of speakers and i'm sure it'll be interesting to listen to us and be part of this conversation thank, thank you, you.